Alright, so today we're going to test another version number two of the homemade blocks. Which is going to be a replacement for the hexamine blocks. This is the second one that I produced today. Slightly different uh, ingredients and uh, makeup. I've got gloves on because this pot's really dirty. Um, it's a little bit thicker than the last one, but it's not as wide, so it's still around about the same size as one of the hexamine tablets, only different uh, shape. So we're just going to set this up, see if we can't get it going, and um, see how long this will burn for, and whether or not it will boil 500 mils of water, which we've got here in our bottle. And we'll just set it up and see how it goes. So we'll get that stove back. Pick it up. And already it's starting to burn a lot faster than the last one. So we'll get our pot ready. And we'll also the timer there. So I think this time we'll leave it to burn a little bit first just to get going. You can see it's already spreading a lot faster than the original one that uh, I tested a couple of weeks back. Flame's definitely bigger and uh, stronger. So we might wait a minute or two till it gets really going and then put the uh, pot on. And so I'll be back in just about a minute. Right, so that's been going just on a minute now. It's a reasonable good flame coming off it. I'm just going to grab our pot to the left here and uh, move it over onto this cooker. Oh, I might need to move that base out a bit. Give it a bit more stability. There we go, 2 minutes 21 burning so far, and the pot's gone on. And we'll just put the lid on as well. And we'll call that 2 minutes 30. Start the timer there, see how well it burns, and um, how long it's going to take to boil 500 mils of water. Checking in again, we're at 4 minutes 40 seconds. If you can see down the bottom there, it's really starting to put out quite a bit of heat. So it's burning along quite nicely there. So it's been going for roughly a minute and a half. And the tablet itself is almost totally alight as far on the top there spread along quite nicely, a lot faster than the last time. It was almost 10 minutes for the original, or well 8 to 10 minutes for the original trial before it even uh, got totally alight, so so far so good. Definitely a better burn time. Not nearly as much smoke coming off it at this, this, this stage. 
and uh, we'll stop it here and we'll check in again in a couple of minutes to see how we're going. Alright, so we're checking back in again here, 7 minutes and 42 seconds, and as you can see down the bottom there, it's absolutely totally alight. It's putting out a lot of heat and a lot of power, hopefully. I'm going for about 5.5 minutes now, 6.5 minutes, should I say. Well and truly um, alight. It's definitely putting out a little bit of smoke now, but I'm not so sure if that's from the block itself or the burning off of whatever's on the bottom of the pot here. I certainly haven't cleaned it since the last time I did the burn test. It's become my test pot now. It was a very nice non-stick MSR cook set until I lent it to someone and they used metal utensils on it. So it's not really good for anything now except for testing and doing these boil tests. I'll just open up the pot and have a look and we're definitely forming some really nice bubbles on the bottom there. It's not going to be far away from boiling. So, we'll stop here again and check in shortly in fact. We are not far away from boiling at all. We'll check back a little bit later on, see how far we've Alright, so we're checking back in again at 13 minutes 30 seconds and um, this block is still burning away quite nicely, it's certainly starting to die down a bit now still putting out a good amount of heat though um, and had the water boiling on the clock at just under 10 minutes and considering we put the pot on at 2.5 minutes roughly it took 7.5 minutes to get that half a litre of water to the boil so certainly a lot more successful than the last test the last block. Um, still have a little bit of an issue with the smoke but considering it's all natural products I don't think it's going to be nearly as toxic as the hexamine tablets but like any sort of cooking you should be doing this outside and certainly not in an enclosed space like a tent or a hut without adequate ventilation so for an emergency use this is really looking like quite a good good product so far, they're environmentally friendly, all natural and uh, quite a good burn time so I am quite tempted to make this block a bit thinner and a bit wider because I think there's going to be some unused product in the middle of this that's not burning away so I might make that up tonight try and make it a bit thinner, a bit wider and see if we can burn away as much as possible but this is uh, been a very successful test this time around. I'm going to stop the clock here, or stop the video here, and just watch it burn out and start up the video again just before it dies out and just see how long we get out of this block. So the next part of the video will be the final throws of this block. Alright, so we're checking back in at 16 minutes 17 seconds. Looks like it's just about to go out on us. This has been Philip <coughs> from the Next 72 Hours team with a test of the hexamine replacement block number 2 with a total burn time of 16 minutes and 37 seconds. Overall really really successful, very happy with how that's burnt. Minimal smoke coming off it uh, at the end of its life and minimal smoke coming off during the burn as well. So a lot more successful than the last test. Continue to work on that. Might have a final go at it tomorrow with a new one that I make tonight. And i um, just going to pick this up carefully. Oh, quite warm. And nothing left under there. I, I had some tinfoil down just in case there was some leakage or burn off from this. And uh, there's been nothing, which is fantastic. So overall, very, very happy. Uh, very successful test.